Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at inserting a drop cap in Microsoft Word Now a drop cap is when the first letter of a paragraph is extended across multiple lines It is common to see in old manuscripts and novels and can still be seen nowadays in some publications Insert a drop cap is easy First thing you'll need to do is select the paragraph that you want to use and notice I don't have to select all the text within the paragraph, although that would work. But all I need to do is actually click inside the paragraph I want to use, and Word will know that I intend to use that one. The drop cap, as you can probably expect, is on the insert tab. So we want to insert it. Over to your right, you have your drop cap button, and you have two types of drop cap you can use. In my experience, the most popular one is probably a dropped cap, so it stays within your paragraph and extends multiple lines. You can see by the little image that and by its name in margin will stay within that left margin. I'm going to go for a dropped option and then it goes. First letter of my paragraph uh, is much larger than the rest and extends three lines. If we click outside we can get a better view of this and in my opinion uh, the other letters then three lines of the paragraph are always a little bit close to that drop cap letter, uh, almost touching. So what we're going to do, still within this paragraph, go back to our drop cap button, and I'm going to investigate some drop cap options. There's a few options you can play with here. You can change the type of drop cap. We could switch it to an in margin drop cap, or switch it back to a dropped cap. But I'm going to look at it's just increasing this distance from the text a little uh, up to 0.2 I think now you've also got the option here to change uh, the font in, in old manuscripts and novels this drop cap this first uh, letter of the paragraph uh, commonly had some uh, some good typography to it and it was crafted uh, at the moment mine is just Arial <laughs> uh, but he could choose a more fancy font um, what does Andalus do? Um, which kind of stands out from the rest of your paragraph. You can also specify how many lines to drop, uh, should you wish. And there we go. The change of the font and the increase in the distance between the text. If you decide you don't want a drop cap anymore, just back to your drop cap button. You can always switch it back to none. If I'm happy with what I, what I have, I could then apply that to other paragraphs if I wanted. And that's a drop cap. Thank you for watching. Uh, please check us out at computergargoid.com where you find plenty more office tutorials. Uh, come see us on our YouTube channel if you're not already there to check out what other videos we have to offer.